I prayed <laughs> a whole lot. Um, and I just asked the Lord, I was like, Lord, if you want me to go, like you're gonna have to provide the way because I can't. The last day to sign up, I kind of was like, Tim, I, I wanna go to El Paso. So I ended up going and it was probably one of the better decisions of my year. I went to China in 2010 uh, with McMurray. We took about 14 people. There was a team that went to Haiti um, back in December and the bond that they had when they came back, you could see it. It wasn't something that could be manufactured. It was totally authentic. McMurray in Motion is really more about transformational living than it is about uh, short-term missions. Whenever Jesus says, uh, go into all nations, um, the words there are actually as you go. And so it's more of a, a movement, a momentum that we're responding to this call of God. And it's in the going that our lives are transformed and changed. And so our hope is not just that students will invest in a short-term mission opportunity, but really that through going, through seeing, through serving, that their lives will be transformed. The most impactful day in China for me was this day where we hiked up a mountain and it took us like two hours to get up the mountain to this teeny tiny little village and it was really amazing because we get all the way up to the mountain and there's this ragged old Bible, old, and it's torn and stained and everything and you just see all these kids are hovering around the Bible while the older man who's teaching them is translating it and he's trying to tell the stories as best as he possibly can and that was the most amazing thing because we saw big China where there's millions of people everywhere but then we saw this teeny tiny community that thrives and still has faith and it was something so amazing and beautiful. I tell a story about going home and visiting my, my parents in uh, Meadow, Texas which is about 30 minutes southwest of Lubbock. It's extremely tiny and I, I remember going into my mom's classroom she teaches fourth and fifth grade science and I walk into my classroom and they're used to seeing me um, a high school football player coming into their room and saying wow look at this guy and uh, after I, I've broadened uh, my perspective um, traveling around the world uh, seeing different people different brothers and sisters around the world I want to tell all these little cute kids that the world is so much bigger than what you see here in Meadow. I knew that the people in Haiti were in desperate need of um, resources that they just didn't have available. They either didn't have money, they didn't have the time, or they didn't have the means um, physically. And if I have something to give that they need, I'm going to give it. The question of Christ and culture arises um, there in China in a more, I would say, more complex way than it does here. Uh, so. As in any mission field, I learned that if I'm going to go speak the gospel to anyone, uh, is to understand their complex situation that's not one of my own. We just really believe um, that students, when they go and when they see and when they serve, um, that their lives are going to be affected. I went and worked in a place called Kana'an, and they showed me everything. They showed me that life is way more important than the clothes that you wear and the way that you look and the persona that you want to try to put on. If you're thinking of going on a mission trip with McMurray, I say definitely go. Go for it. Open your heart. Listen to the call. They've changed the course of my life and they've changed the way I act and they've changed the way I think um, about anything, about people, about the world.